Hello, for those of you out in YouTube land. Um, this video is going to train you on what the informal process within the federal sector of employment, how that works if you want to file an Equal Employment Opportunity Complaint. So you have two processes within the federal sector, really three. You have an informal process where you file a really informal complaint to kind of get the ball rolling and to see if you can squash your issues and settle your complaint with whoever you have that with, because usually it's with a person that um, an employee believes is treating them unfairly, a supervisor, or it could be a group of people. It doesn't always have to be a supervisor or one or two supervisors. It just depends on what the particular complaint is, but you get that whole process started with an informal complaint. Um, and it's really an informal process compared to the um, formal process, which uh, the formal process, I don't recommend it. We'll talk about that later. But the informal process is where you should start if you really feel like you're just experiencing discrimination that is unbearable. So let's get into how that um, works. If an employee believes that they have experienced discrimination in the federal workplace, they can file an informal complaint with their agency's Equal Employment Opportunity Office. The informal complaint process is an attempt to resolve the issue without the need for a formal investigation. So that EEO office is going to work with the employee and their supervisor to try and reach a resolution. That is the goal. And whether this happens a lot of times depends on how skilled the people in the EEO office are. And it just depends. I mean, I've seen people of all different skill levels because these laws are very political. When um, Democrats are in the political offices, you tend to have better people working those jobs. Just my opinion. Um, an informal investigation. So the investigation is, is a process where the EO counselor um, or another investigator investigates the facts surrounding the complaint. During the investigation, the investigator is going to interview witnesses, gather evidence, review the documents, and try to determine whether there's any evidence to support the allegations made in the complaint. The investigator is then going to report a short report summarizing their findings and make a recommendation as to whether the complaint has merit if the investigator finds that there is enough um, evidence to make a recommendation as to um, the complaint to support the um, allegations, the complainant then has a choice to proceed with a formal EO complaint, and that's going to be investigated further by the agency's EO office. Um, but there is another option. There is the informal mediation process. So mediation is a different kind of um, process. And it's a voluntary process where you have a trained mediator that facilitates discussion between the complainant and the agency. And there is a real attempt to resolve the complaint without the need for further investigation. The mediator is not going to make a decision on the merits of the complaint, but they're going to work with the parties to help them find a acceptable resolution. So mediation can be useful. It's a very useful tool for resolving complaints quickly and less expensively, uh, more timely than a formal investigation. And it also can help to preserve workplace relationships. I've seen it work in a number of instances. So that is the most efficient, most expedient route that I do recommend. In the informal federal sector EEO process, complaint process, the complainant can choose to participate in investigation or mediation or both. It just depends on how the agency has set up its particular EEO process. However, if the complainant chooses to participate in mediation, they must still file a formal EEO complaint if the mediation is unsuccessful and they want to pursue the matter further. And a lot of times mediation is unsuccessful. So you should know that that is the route that you're going to end up taking if the mediation is not successful. It's important to note that participation in mediation is voluntary 
on both sides. So the agency can't force a complainant to participate in med mediation if they don't want to do so, and neither can the complainant force the agency to participate in mediation if they don't want to. They may, the agency may say, no, I don't want to do that. I want to go the formal route. I haven't seen a lot of agencies do that, but they can. If the informal complaint is not resolved to the employee's satisfaction, they can then file a formal complaint. And the formal complaint involves a more thorough investigation that may involve mediation or a hearing. The agency is required to issue a decision within 180 days of the formal complaint being filed. It's important to note that this process is specific to the federal sector and may differ in other employment contexts. So the private sector usually has nothing like this. It's up to the private sector to pretty much determine what their process is for resolving complaints. And I've seen very few private sector employees have an extensive EEO complaint resolution process. Whatever the complaint resolution process is, it's going to be run by that company's human resources department usually. But again, I've not seen many have extensive processes like the federal government has. So federal employees have 45 days from the date of the alleged discriminatory incident to initiate the informal complaint process with their agency's EEO office. It's very important to remember that because it's a very hard, strict um, time requirement. And if you pass that, you can't come, for example, for uh, to the EEO office about something that happened two months ago or six months ago. It has to be within that 45-day time limit. This time frame is set by the EEO's regulations, and it's very, like I said, it's a very, very strict deadline. You're not going to be able to do anything if um, more than 45 days has passed since the incident that you consider discrimination. The initial informal complaint process, um, in that initial informal complaint process, form, um, it's usually going to be a form that the federal employee is going to fill out. And it's just going to ask for basic information, like your name, your address, your contact information, the agency names, where you, the address of where you work, the, that contact information, the basis of discrimination. That's very important. You have to say whether you believe you're being discriminated against based on race, color, sex, age, disability, or or retaliation, which I need to point out, that is its own basis. So if you, for example, had complained before and you feel like you are being retaliated against because of a complaint, or if you assisted someone in their discrimination complaint and you were also retaliated against for doing that, that is its own basis. You can file a complaint just based on that. Um, you need the dates of the alleged discrimination. And remember, if it's, if it's older than 45 days, you cannot bring the complaint. Um, description of the discriminatory incident. And your contact information for your employee supervisor and your manager. And you're going to have to sign and date that complaint. Specific information may be required depending on the agency and the form used. But these are generally the types of information that are requested. And it's important for employees to provide as much detail as possible in order to facilitate a thorough investigation. So the first step in the federal informal process to resolving workplace discrimination is um, filing that informal complaint. During the informal process, the EO counselor is going to help the employee to identify the issues and explore options for resolving the matter. That is what they're, the EO counselor is there to do. If the employee is not satisfied with the resolution offered during the informal process or the issue can't be resolved through informal means, the employee can then file a formal EEO complaint. This triggers the more formal investigation and adjudication process much longer, much more complex. Do another. I'm going to do another video on that. The formal EEO pro process involves filing of a formal complaint and investigation of the allegations by the agency's EEO office, a decision by the agency on whether or not discrimination occurred, and an opportunity for the employee to appeal the agency's decision. The formal process can take a significant amount of time and resources and it's generally advisable to attempt to resolve the matter through informal means 
first, if that is at all possible. So you may be wondering, are complaints resolved during the informal process? Many complaints are resolved through the informal process. In fact, the EOC encourages the parties to resolve the complaints through informal means whenever that's possible. The informal process is less time consuming, it's less adversarial, and it does sometimes result in a satisfactory resolution for all parties involved. In addition, resolving complaints through informal means helps to maintain good working relationships between employees and their employers, which can be especially important in government workplaces where employees may work together for many, many years. I'm going to show you a visual of how that informal process works. Just a second. Oh, I was gonna turn it around, trying to turn the camera around to get this visual. I can't get the visual. Well, with the informal process, what you have is 45 days um, after the incident, no longer than that, then you get 30 to 60 days for the counselor's limited inquiry. Or you can elect to have the ADR, Alternative Dispute Resolution Process, or mediation. And that takes up to 90 days because it takes time to find a mediator. So that's why it's longer than the um, investigation type process. So, you know, if there is a successful um, resolution, then that mediation is the settlement agreement is written up and that's the end of the process. So it's a much shorter process. If the answer is no, you can resume counseling and you get a notice of a right to file a formal complaint. And that is issued 15 days after um, the EEO counselor writes up a report about what they found, and then there is, um, you need, you, and that's a very tight di timeline as well. You have only 15 days to decide whether or not you want to file a formal complaint, and that is a much longer process. But after you finish your informal process, 15 days. So, you know, be mindful of the, um, timelines involved and that you have only a short amount of time after you finish that that informal process to file a formal complaint if that is what you want to do. So that is the informal federal EEO process in a nutshell. It's pretty straightforward. You can ask me any questions below about it, but there you have it. Thanks.